I'm finally going to finish off my mint julep pad today. We're going to make some cards from the final round of scraps. Hey guys, it's Beth. Welcome back. This is like part four, I think, of my mint julep pad and it's round two of cards. I think I should be able to finish the pad off with this round. These are the scraps I have left, some bigger, strips, some smaller bits and thinner strips. And then the ones that I had cut down, I had at the end of the last round, I had cut a few more pieces down for card mats to try and finish it out. And like I said, I may have to bring in some cardstock card mats as well. So hopefully we can finish this up with this last round and I will be using some card sketches again to kind of help things move along a little quicker and I will be sure to link those for you in the description box below. So let's get making.
Okay, my round, the second round of cards is done. I ended up with 33 cards. That pile of scraps you saw at the end, I did go through and add those to the insides of all the cards. And then I also went through my little, the embellishments that I had die cut or punched out of the paper itself and either added them to the inside of the cards or uh, I did go through and add them to some of the cards from the previous round just to jizz them up just a little bit. So all I have left, I had this was just cardstock, like a little heart I had die cut from cardstock, and then my sentiments that were left. So I used up as much of the paper as I possibly could. And like I said, there were 33 cards this round, which is actually more than I thought I was going to get. Um, I was getting creative trying to use the last bits of, you know, the embellishments, the paper. Used some of my normal card sketches, but then I did, like, I haven't done these grid style card sketches in a while. And then, you know, I'm getting close to the end when I whip out my operation right home sketch 154 and I actually made some bigger batches than I thought I would I thought they would be like more one-off based on what I had left so 33 cards this time and then a total of 96 cards. So I started with a sheet load of cards. I believe this was June's sheet load. And then these were the cards from round two. I also have the 25 envelopes that I made that I can actually, you know, include with these cards when I donate. And then there's the four notebooks that I created as well. So this pad is done. I wanted to get this pad finished because I wanted to do some Christmas in July stuff. I didn't want to be working on this for the rest of the month. So I want to say I got this somewhere around 2018, 19, not exactly sure. I was trying to remember we were at a craft show and it was in a crafty basket that was part of like the raffle or auction or something that I won. And finally, in 2023, I am using it up. Again, patterns, gorgeous. Love the color combinations. Only complaint was what you've heard me say many times, the thinness of the paper. So in my projects, there is a playlist below. If you missed any of the specific projects that I did, everything I did, I did on camera. With the exception, I don't have a process for the sheet loads. Um... That was the only thing that I didn't necessarily do a process or tutorial on. Card sketches from today will also be linked in the description box below. And then, like I said, I think we're going to move on to some Christmas projects for the rest of July. I wanted to get ahead on some Christmas projects, do a little bit of Christmas in July. Thank you guys for sticking through me with this video and with this series. Hope you enjoyed, got some inspiration. Thanks so much for your time today and hope you'll have a very crafty day.